This video is part of a series of videos presenting solutions of problems related to the machine dynamics topic. This video presents the solution of a problem, dealing with the static analysis of a Chebyshev lambda mechanism. In this problem, we are asked to find the moment and the reactions for the mechanism shown here. This mechanism is a Chebyshev lambda straight line linkage. The position of the linkage is given. All bar angles and bar lengths are known. The mechanism is subjected to a horizontal rightwards force in a This problem will be solved using two methods. In the first method, we will undertake a full analysis. In the second methods we will consider the assumption of the two force member, and then, we will undertake a simplified analysis. Let's start by drawing the free body diagrams of the three bars. We need to split the linkage apart. First we need to consider the external force of 500 Newton, applied in point E, and the external moment M on the bar AB. In C, we have a pin joint between bar BCE, and bar CD. A pin joint blocks relative translations in horizontal and vertical directions. Thus we need two reactions in pin C, CX, and CY. The reaction CX and CY, applied on the bar BCE, are arbitrarily considered positive. Thus, the reaction CX and CY, applied on the bar CD, are considered negative, opposite to the ones applied on the bar BCE. Similarly, in B, we have a pin joint between bar BCE, and bar AB. A pin joint blocks relative translations in horizontal and vertical directions. Thus we need two reactions, BX and BY. The reactions BX and BY, applied on the bar BCE, are arbitrarily considered negative. Thus, the reactions BX and BY, applied on the bar AB, are considered positive, opposite to the ones applied on the bar BCE. Also, in A, we have a pin joint between bar AB and the ground. Thus we need two reactions, AX and AY. The reactions AX and AY, are arbitrarily considered negative. Finally, in D, we have a pin joint between bar CD and the ground. Thus we need two reactions, DX and DY. The reactions DX and DY, are arbitrarily considered positive. The next step is to write the equilibrium equations of each bar. Let's start by the equilibrium equations of the bar BCE. For the bar BCE, we have equilibrium of forces along the horizontal direction. Thus, minus BX plus CX plus 500 is equal to zero, this will be our first equation. We have also equilibrium of forces along the vertical direction. Therefore, minus BY plus CY is equal to zero, this will be our second equation. And, we have equilibrium of moments. Hence, minus BC times sine 38.05 times CX plus BC times cosine 38.05 times CY minus BE sine 38.05 times 500 is equal to zero. This will be our third equation. Here, the moments are considered around point B. And the counterclockwise direction is considered as the positive direction for the moments. Let's move to the bar CD. We have equilibrium of forces along the horizontal direction. Thus, minus CX plus DX is equal to zero, this will be our fourth equation. We have also equilibrium of forces along the vertical direction. Therefore, minus CY plus DY is equal to zero, this will be our fifth equation. And, we have equilibrium of moments. The moments are considered around point D. And counterclockwise direction is considered as the positive direction. Hence, CD times sine 82.86, times CX, minus CD times cosine 82.86, times CY, 
times cy is equal to zero. This will be our sixth equation. We will do the same with the bar AB. We have equilibrium of forces along the horizontal direction. Thus, minus AX plus BX is equal to zero, this will be our seventh equation. We have also equilibrium of forces along the vertical direction. Therefore, minus AY plus BY is equal to zero, this will be our equation number eight. And, we have equilibrium of moments. The moments are considered around point A. Hence, we have moment M minus AB times sine 70 times BX plus AB times cosine 70 times BY is equal to zero. This will be our equation number nine. Using equilibrium equations, we have established nine equations. Three equations for the bar BCE. Three equations for the bar CD and three equations for the bar AB. These nine equations involve nine unknowns, the moment M, and eight reactions. The key equations are equations three and six. These two equations involve CX and CY. Solving these two equations, separately, will give CX and CY. Later we can solve for the other unknowns. Let's focus first on the two equations three and six. The equation 3 can be simplified as minus sine 38.05 times CX plus cosine 38.05 times CY is equal to 1000 times sine 38.05 as BE is twice BC. The equation 6 can be simplified as sine 82.86 times CX minus cosine 82.86 times CY is equal to zero as it is possible to simplify by cd solving the two equations by substitution gives cx is equal to 1000 divided by minus 1 plus tangent of 82.86 divided by tangent 38.05 using a calculator gives 108.70 newtons and CY is equal to 1000 tangent 82.86, divided by, minus 1 plus, tangent of 82.86 divided by tangent 38.05. Using a calculator gives, 867.77 newtons. Using equations 3 and 6, we have showed that CX is equal to 108.70 newtons, and CY is equal to 867.77 newtons. We still didn't exploited equations 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, and 9. Now using equation 1, BX is equal to CX plus 500, thus B is equal to 608.70 newtons. Also using equations 2, 5, and 8, we have AY is equal to BY is equal to DY is equal to CY, is equal to 867.77 newtons. Using equation 4, DX is equal to CX, is equal to 108.70 newtons. Using equation 7, AX is equal to BX, is equal to 608.70 newtons. Finally, using equation 9, we have M is equal to AB times sine 70, times BX, minus AB cosine 70, times BY. Or, M is equal to 0.14 times sine 70, times 608.7, minus 0.14 cosine 70, times 867.77. Using a calculator gives M is equal to 41.55 Newton meters. We completed the first solution. Now let's move to second method. We will also start by drawing the free body diagrams of the three bars. First we need to consider the external force of 500 Newton, applied in point E, and the external moment M on the bar AB. There is no transverse force applied on the bar CD. 
there is no moment applied on the bar CD. Thus, it is possible to assume that the bar CD, as a two-force member, a two-force bar. Hence, the reactions in C and in D, are axial. They have the same direction as the bar axis. This is due to the moment equilibrium equation. The force equilibrium equations give that the two reactions C and D, are equal. Because of the third Newton's law, a reaction C is also applied on the bar BCE, in pin C, but in the opposite direction. The force has the same angle as the bar CD. In B, we have a pin joint between bar BCE, and bar AB. Thus we need two reactions, BX and BY. The reactions BX and BY, applied on the bar BCE, are considered negative to counter the force C and the 500 Newton force. Thus, the reactions BX and BY, applied on the bar AB, are considered positive, opposite to the ones applied on the bar BCE. Also, in A, we have a pin joint between bar AB and the ground. Thus we need two reactions, AX and AY. The reactions AX and AY, are considered negative, to counter the reactions BX and BY. The next step is to write the equilibrium equations of each bar. The equilibrium of bar CD is automatically satisfied by the two force member assumption, and by assuming C is equal to D. Let's start by writing the equilibrium equations of the bar BCE. For the bar BCE, we have equilibrium of forces along the horizontal direction. Thus, minus BX plus C times cosine 82.86, plus 500 is equal to zero, this will be our first equation. We have also equilibrium of forces along the vertical direction. Therefore, minus BY plus, C times sine 82.86, is equal to zero, this will be our second equation. And, we have equilibrium of moments. Hence, minus BC times sine 38.05 times C cosine 82.86 plus BC times cosine 38.05 times C sine 82.86 minus BE sine 38.05 times 500 is equal to zero. This will be our third equation. Here, the moments are considered around point B and the counterclockwise direction is considered as the positive direction for the moments. We will do the same with the bar AB. We have equilibrium of forces along the horizontal direction. Thus, minus AX plus BX is equal to zero, this will be our fourth equation. We have also equilibrium of forces along the vertical direction. Therefore, minus AY plus BY is equal to zero, this will be our equation number five. And, we have equilibrium of moments. The moments are considered around point A. Hence, we have moment M minus AB times sine 70 times BX plus AB times cosine 70 times BY is equal to zero. This will be our equation number six. Using equilibrium equations, we have established six equations. Three equations for the bar BCE. And three equations for the bar AB. These six equations involve six unknowns, the moment M, and five reactions, AXAY, BXBY, and C. The key equation is equations three. Solving this equation, will give C. Later we can solve for the other unknowns. Let's focus first on equation 3. It can be simplified as BC times sine 82.86 minus 38.05 times C is equal to B times sine 38.05 times 500 or C is equal to 2 times sine 38.05 times 500 divided by Sine 82.86 minus 38.05. Using a calculator give C is about 874.55 newtons. 
Using equation 3, we have obtained that C is equal to 874.55 newtons. We still need to solve equations 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. From equations 1 and 4, we have AX is equal to, BX is equal to, C cosine 82.86, plus 500, which is about 608.70 newtons. From equations 2 and 5, we have AY is equal to, BY is equal to, C sine 82.86, which is about 867.77 newtons. Finally, using equation 6, we have M is equal to AB times sine 70, times BX, minus AB cosine 70, times BY. Or, M is equal to 0.14 times sine 70, times 608.7, minus 0.14 cosine 70 times 867.77. Using a calculator gives M is equal to 41.55 newton meters. We have the static force problem using two methods. The two methods give exactly the same result. The first method does not consider any assumption. Thus, straightforward. However, it is a little long. The second method is shorter. However, the students should be careful when applying the two force bar assumption. Thanks for watching.